Hey guys, I'm back and I'm here to make a new type of video. If you know me, you know that I really love Disney and basically my whole family does. Well, I thought it'd be real cool to share with you guys what I really enjoy looking up on Google, which would be weird facts about Disney. Today's video has to do with the origins of some of your favorite Disney classics. In the original Peter Pan novel, Peter actually kills the Lost Boys when they get too old. I think that's a bit rude. One of my favorite lines from the book, though, would be from Peter himself. To die would be a great adventure. Which is actually kind of sad. In the original Cinderella story, her name wasn't actually Cinderella, though it was something very uncommon. One of her stepsisters actually cut off her toes to try and fit into the glass slipper, and the other cut off her heel. And then at the wedding, the doves would come down from the heavens and peck out the sister's eyes. Also, Cinderella killed her stepmother by putting her into a wooden box and snapped her neck with the lid. The tale of Pocahontas is actually based off of a real Indian girl. She was 13 at the time and John Smith was about 20-something. Pocahontas hated John Smith, but he told everyone a totally different story. Turns out, he kidnapped her moved her to London, renamed her Rebecca, practically made her a sex slave, and she died at the age of 21. But hey, the songs were great, weren't they? Can you sing with all the voices of the mountain? Can you paint with all the colors of the wind? If you've already seen Pinocchio, you know it's kind of already a messed up story, what with the kids drinking and smoking and gambling and all these things. Well, in the original fairy tale, Pinocchio is actually a real dick. Pinocchio kills Jiminy Cricket for whistling too much. He gets Geppetto sent to jail for negligence. And when Geppetto gets out, he sells his only coat to send his son to school. Pinocchio then takes that money for school and buys theater tickets. But then in the end, it's kind of alright because the fox and the cat hang Pinocchio from a tree and leave him there to die. The original Sleeping Beauty tale was called Sun, Moon, and Talia. In this, Talia falls asleep and is put into that magical coma thing, right? The prince is actually a king in this story, and he, upon finding her, does not kiss her to wake her up with true love, but ends up raping her. Yeah. She is impregnated with two children who are named Sun and Moon. And when she wakes up after a few months, she wakes up with babies, and who the hell, where do these come from? She doesn't know. At this time, the king is already married. She eventually brings her babies with her into the kingdom, and the king ultimately makes her mistress. In the original story of the Hunchback of Notre Dame, Quasimodo turns his back on Esmeralda because of her refusal to love him. This eventually led her to get hung in the middle of the square, but then he feels really bad for it afterwards and stays with her body until he dies of starvation himself. Oh, the crazy things we do for love. In the original Little Mermaid tale, not only was her voice the price she paid for having feet, but it also made her feel like she was stepping on knives and shards of glass. Also, the woman at the end, Prince Eric actually ends up marrying. I'm not sure his name was actually Eric in the original one, though. But this leads Ariel to go into a depression, where her as a human throws her body over a cliff into the water and kills herself. The Disney version of Beauty and the Beast fails to recognize the fact that Belle has two wicked sisters. These sisters are really jealous now because of the fact that Belle is in this luxurious life with the Beast. So when the Beast lets Belle go home for one week to visit her family, she has to promise that she will return before that week is over. The sisters are so jealous of her that they convince her to stay for more than one week, hoping that the Beast will be so angry that if Belle should return, he will eat her. So they're pretty much setting her up for death. The story of Rapunzel, well, Disney's version is Tangled, but it's actually originally a story by the Brothers Grimm. This is actually a really badass story. So the prince does find Rapunzel in the tower in the middle of the woods. He climbs up her hair, pretty much knocks her up, and the witch eventually does find out very quickly. So what she does to punish Rapunzel is cuts off all of her hair. The prince soon returns, and she throws the cut off hair out the window, 
making him think that it's Rapunzel. He climbs up, she sees the witch immediately, gets so scared, jumps out the window into a bush of thorns, and gets blighted. He wanders aimlessly for months and months. Rapunzel eventually has twins, and the sound of Rapunzel's voice brings the prince back to her. That's how he finds her, and her tears ultimately bring his sight back. Pretty much happily ever after, but it was pretty fucked up in the middle. In the original Snow White tale, there are actually three things that the witch tries to kill Snow White with. Snow White invites the evil queen to the wedding, but when she gets there, they force her to put on these hot iron shoes and dance to her death in front of the whole wedding for entertainment. It's pretty messed up. So all these origin stories I got from different sources, so don't take my word for it, and if you find something different, don't say that I misinformed you. Don't get pissed off at me get pissed off at the internet. I try to be as accurate as I could. If there's anything else you want to hear about Disney, because I'm so down to make more videos about Disney, because I love looking up creepy Disney facts, please tell me any suggestions you guys have, and thank you for watching. Woo! Yeah! Bye, guys!